Hi, Barbara and Mojica, aka Little Miss History, back with you for another session of the Two Minute Teacher. How to set up a mini lesson in two minutes or so. Today's lesson will cover alphabetizing. Putting things in alphabetical order is an important skill for reading, writing, and spelling. For this particular activity, we're going to use a worksheet that will also teach your student about geography and social studies. I will have the link to my Pinterest board down below. Here is the worksheet that we will be using. It is called Orderly States. You have a map of the United States and you have all of the states mixed up but they're all named for you. You're going to take the states and beginning with letter A, place them in alphabetical order. This activity is best used with students in grade three and up. You can adapt the activity and make it simpler. For younger children, you can ask them to try to find the state in which they live, or you can pick out a few of the states and ask them to put those few in alphabetical order. So let's begin. They give you the first answer. Alabama. Alabama. A-L. When you look at the other A states that are listed there, you'll see that you have Alaska also beginning with A-L. So Alaska would be the next state. A L A. B, Alabama, comes before A-L-A-S, Alaska. Then you move on to the other A words. The next group would be the A-R words. You have two states that begin with A-R, Arizona and Arkansas. I comes before K, so Arizona would come before Arkansas. And then you will move to the rest of the states. There are no B states, so you move to C, and then you move on. You use the first letter, the second letter, and if necessary, move on to the third letter. If you're short on time, you can download the answer key from education.com, and it will list all the states for you. As an extension activity, when your child is finished with the alphabetical order, you can ask the student to identify which state he or she lives in, and then maybe also the surrounding states. You can also ask the student to color in the states or download a blank map and ask your students to write the states in on that larger map. When finished, you can keep this in a notebook for reference of the names of the 50 states. I hope you've enjoyed this activity. Uh, so until next time, please do click the button for subscription and advanced notifications. And you can check out every learning opportunity at www.littlemisshistory.com. That's all for now. Bye.